Hello my friends, welcome to Prime Strings. I'm Henriette and we are on day five of the Learn to Do the Violin in 30 Days course. On day four we learned how to place the left hand fingers on the violin and today we will be building on that and learn to play the beginning of Twinkle. So by the end of this lesson you will be feeling much more confident about how to use your left hand fingers and about how you can play in tune on your violin. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to this channel, hit the bell button and feel free to share this video also with your friends and family if you think they might be interested in learning to, to play the violin as well. I shall give you a moment to tune up your violin now and perhaps you can also write a finger line on your finger as we did in day four. Make sure also that if you have Suzuki Book One, you are having it close at hand as we will be using it a little later. Here are your tuning notes. I'm tuning the A first. Next, tune the D string. We are going to start with just the violin but please have your bow somewhere close so you can pick it up without putting your violin down. We found out in day four that this ridge of knuckles is meant to be level with the strings. Let's move your hand in position so that it is at the beginning of the strings. Your finger line should make a tiny V shape with the E string. And now I would like you to check that your left thumb is upright and your, sh your hand is shaped as if you've got a large tennis ball in it. Stretch your fingers up and down a few times as we're going to use them in a moment. Now, curl your index finger as far as it will go. So like that, rather than a halfway curl. And let's place it at the beginning of the string, on the A string, about a centimetre away from the nut. As we, as we learned in lesson four, the pattern that my fingers make is going to be like that. So you have a space between fingers one and two, fingers two and three are close together, and fingers three and four have got a, a finger space width apart. So from the other side, it looks like this. My thumb is loosely there. And then this is my finger pattern. So now let's pick up the bow and play from the open string, then fingers one, two, three, and four, and then back down again. Use long bows if you can. And if you've got any brain space left, Try to make your bow strokes straight as well. We're starting on A. stayed on the string when I was playing my fingers. I don't take a finger off when I've finished it playing it. I leave it on the string. And you may also have noticed that I was stopping just briefly between each finger to give me time to put the next finger down. Let's do this once more, shall we? So here we go on A.
are doing great. Most people find this very challenging, so don't worry if this is very tricky still. You will progress and it will become easier. Now, if your sound is scratchy, try to press a bit less on the bow. If your sound is a bit whistly, it may be that you are not pressing your fingers completely down. So let's play it again and let's work out if we can improve on the sound. You will soon find a balance between how light your bow should be and how firm your fingers should be. Both hands are having to perform two very different tasks and this takes some time before it will be completely controlled. So please try not to be too critical with yourself at this stage. The fact that you're having a go is wonderful. So let's practice it one more time. I'm checking my finger line, my thumb and my tennis ball and off we go. you will have found it easier than before. Remember also that if you hit other strings by accident, you need to adjust your elbow level until you have arrived at the A string. I also would encourage you to step forward half a step with your left foot so we have a good posture from the start. Now let's check your finger line, your thumb and your tennis ball one more time. We are going to play each note twice with long bows and when you're ready, here we go again. exercise that I would like you to practice. We are going to play on the E string and we're going to play just E with no fingers and E with one fingers as a separate practice. I will show you. So we're going to check our finger line, check our thumb, check our tennis ball and now curl up your index finger so it comes down on the E string. a little bit later on. Now let's get the book and let's open it on page 26. We will be playing the section of music where it says theme, this here. If you're not familiar with note reading that's okay, I explain things as we go along. So we said in an earlier lesson each dot on the stave represents the sound. So take a look at the first note and you may remember that this is an A. So we're going to play one A, and then another A, and then an E, and another E. Now, when the dots are black, you play them with short bows, and when the dots are white, you play them with long bows. So we're going to start at the heel of the bow in a moment, and we are going to play two short A's. Those two A's are going from the heel of the bow to the middle of the bow and I'm hoping you will still have your sticker or a marker on your bow from a previous lesson. The next bar, that is this section, a bar is a section between two bar lines here and there, 
Uh, the next bar is a finger on the E string. And you play this note twice as well. And then after that we have an E, which is a long bow. It's a wide note, so it's a long bow. So let's play that section now. And we're going to go up to here. And then we will stop. that again shall we all the black dots are played with short bows and the last note that I've just played the E is a long bow so have your finger line your thumb and your tennis ball ready have your elbow level so that you're on the A string and here we go one two You play that note twice. These notes here are two fingers on A, also played twice. Then we've got one finger on A, also with short bows, and then you've got a long A. The black dots, as we've said, they are called crotchet notes, are played with short bows. The white note here is called a minim, is played with a whole bow. Let's play this section now. Before we can start to play the third finger on the A string, it is wise to test all the fingers and place them in the correct positions. So let's now play A, 1, 2 and 3 to find the right place for the third finger. So my finger line is in place again, my thumb is there and I've got that space for my tennis ball. Make sure you leave your finger on the string for now. So now we can play the section from the book. Three, three, two, two, one, one, zero. habit to take a break between bars two and three of that tune to allow yourself time to get your fingers in place. Now we're going to join it all up together and we're going to start at the beginning of line one. Play very slowly and stop after bar two. Leave your bow in place, fingers one, two, three on A. Well done everyone. Now let's put your violin down and give your arms a moment to recover. We will swing our arms to get the blood flowing again. This gives me time to check a few things. First, if you have a music stand, is your music at eye height? Next, to promote a good posture, you want to point at your notes with the scroll of your violin, which is this thing here. You step forward with your left foot, a small step, and then you point at your notes with your scroll, which means that you are standing diagonally across from your music stand. So you're not going to face the music stand straight away, but you're standing across from it and your scroll is pointing at your notes. When you are standing diagonally towards your music stand, it allows for a playing position to develop correctly right from the start. 
and it also leaves enough room for your bow to bow freely as we were pointing our bow straight in front of us. Now that your arms are hopefully a bit more rested, let's play the first line of our theme again. Remember, we are going to take a little bit of time between bars two and three. So I'm going to start by checking my finger line, checking my thumb and my tennis ball, and I'm going to rest the bow on the A string. And off we go. Stop the bow for a moment. Let's get all your fingers in gear on the A string. Lift your right elbow up so that you get to the correct level for the A string. I am so very pleased with your progress today and I congratulate you on moving your violin playing on so swiftly. Feel free to practice this many, many times over in the next few days, but remember to take frequent rests if your arms feel tired. This is completely normal and you will soon find that you will build stamina and you will be able to play for longer periods of time. Please leave any comments or any questions that you may have in the space below. I will be able to answer your questions. If you have enjoyed this lesson, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button and feel free to share this video with your friends and family as well. I can't wait to see you in day six, so in the meantime, thank you and happy practicing.